Hello, it's Eat Sleep Fudge Repeat with me and him, and you join us in a slightly sheepish mood because we are here at Llanelli Town at Stebbin Heath Park for Llanelli Town versus Dennis Powers in Welsh Football League Division 2, but we were late. We were a little bit late, but we're here to see the leaders in Division 2 heading for League 1 and potentially the Premier League in the next couple of years. So we thought we'd come and check out what they're all about. Not only that, we've got another blow in there, Barry Horns, where we find the stuff that you've been sharing on the interweb and then we share it back to you because it's funny. That's right, we do. Uh, we also have the goal machine Helen Ward talking goals because that is her business. Not only that, Chris Coleman. Squad announcement, World Cup qualifier, Dublin, Ireland, all the rest of it. That's coming up on the programme too. Yes, that's right. Should we find out some more about Lethley? Yeah, let's do that. It wasn't me that was late, by the way. It's Neil Dimmock. Neil is the, well, you are club secretary, Man, press yeah, officer, press so. everything else. Yeah. Anything really you can do. <laughs> Anything which needs doing, which no one else is doing, I haven't got anyone to do. So tell me about uh, tell me about the club then. You're flying high at the moment, you're top of uh, Football League 2. Doing alright today, it's half time, it's 1 0. Yeah, in fairness, we haven't lost this season. I think we won, we won 15 before today and drawn 4. So uh, it'll be luck we make it 16 today. And that's 20 league games unbeaten. It's 2 1, it's the second half. Right. Uh, they've had a penalty at one end, they've had a goal at the other end. I'm with the. Uh, Flanetli Ultras, is that right? Yeah. Is this is that how you guys describe yourself? X A Block Massive. A Block Massive. The X. A Block's Massive has just moved up there. Yeah. <laughs> That's where the A Block Massive have just moved up to. Very camera shy. We used, to, we used to be up in the stand there, but they banned us. They, they yeah. told you to get out. Yeah. <laughs> is this the righty corner then? Yes. We've come to the uh, we've gone to the tea room. It's where all the goss is at. Yeah, absolutely. And while all the action's going on out there, this is the engine room, the proper engine room of the club. What is your name? Uh, my name's Carol, and basically we've been helping out here for about 20 years. Tell me about your club then, uh, Neil. This is, uh, so this is Clanetti Town AFC then, so this yeah. is the club that was born out of the ashes of the last club. Yeah, in 2012-2013 we, uh, we were struggling financially, the chairman, who in fairness had put you know, over £3 million of his own money in over the previous seven years. He decided for whatever reason uh, to stop putting his money in. And we were uh, wound up in High Court in April 2013. Uh, we reformed, it was basically the same people who were left here. We managed to get players in the Commercial League. So we were invited into the Welsh League with six days' notice with a team full of local players. And we thought, oh, what do we do now? We've been through the ringer, yeah. obviously, but we've got a hard core of local players, you know. There's about, out of a squad of about 17, 18, yeah, there's about 12 here. 13 were all local boys. All, all, all come from the local leagues, yeah. obviously, and that's very important, very, very important. So the second year we won Division 3, we scored over 100 goals. Last year the squad wasn't quite there. On our day we were matched with anyone, we won the first 10 games, but when injuries and suspensions hit us, we, we just fell short. And in fairness, uh, this year we've added to the squad, added more quality, more numbers. Still a long way to go. Yeah. Um, but as you can see, he's in. Oh, he is as well. Oh, oh my oh. God. I'm on guys, I'm on. I, I do the trick here. That's too all. That's too all. Can Live I... tweeting. Live tweeting, right? Oh. <laughs> good times are back, is that? Yes, yes, the good times are back. The crowds are coming back. And um, hopefully... Yeah, we've had some good laughs, yeah. Yes, yeah. <laughs> We followed the Reds all over. Yeah. Does it give a good feeling around the club, I guess? Yes, yeah, yes. But they have, they've actually got a feeling. Yes, because we all know them. Yeah. You know, from the, uh, a couple of boys here, their sons are playing. It's a great feeling. Yeah. Great feeling. We originally came here because my husband used to play for the Reds and the boys, our sons. What? So, who's, your, who's your husband? Tony Smoker. Back in the Conical League days. Back, wow, in the Conical. I mean, Robbie James, yeah. We know our man team, which many people think, although Lee Trendler's not doing too bad. He's come in, one of the boys mm. just wants to play football. Yeah. But that's the important thing, because yeah. I guess yeah. you know, when you played at the level he's uh, you've achieved yeah. what he's achieved, to come down and play at this level, he's... But he's also brought on some role players again, I think. With his professionalism, he's brought them on another level. Definitely, definitely. He's a credit to, credit to Swansea City, obviously, but credit to us, his work off the field as well, superb, superb. 
Well, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you very much for feeding us. I think, um, I think now we should. I think we should do something. I think we should go and talk to. Let's talk to a goal machine. Should we talk to a goal machine? Let's talk to a goal machine. All right, so what we're going to do now, while the game's finishing, uh, we're going to go and talk to Helen Ward all about scoring goals for Wales because you might think that Ian Rush is the record goal scorer for Wales. That'll be wrong. It's actually Helen Ward. This is Wales. And you are Wales' record goal scorer. Oh yeah. Just despite yeah. what anything happens with Mr. <laughs> Bale in the next few uh, few weeks, so, yeah, you, you're already top of the charts. Yeah, of course, my my goal scoring record is something I'm extremely proud of. But as anyone knows, as a forward, you've you've got to rely on your teammates to provide you with the chances and then, of course, finish them. So I'm fortunate that I've played with players that have put them on a plate for me and enabled me to score the goals. But if it helps the team, that's the main thing. And. I'd happily go through four games winning them all and not scoring a goal as long as the team's doing it's well. That's not true. <laughs> Come on, nice. Well, you know, maybe a goal. <laughs> I mean, it is nice to score, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Did you know that you were going to be the sort of record goal scorer and edit past easily, or um, was there anything in your mind that. I think I had a really good period where they came thick and fast, and I didn't even know, as well, you can see, I didn't know what the record was. So it wasn't something that was playing on my mind. I'd been fortunate that since my debut, I'd been quite consistent in scoring goals so since I passed it I've probably put more pressure on myself in terms of maintaining a good goals to game ratio. I'm above one in two and that's kind of a good benchmark for a, an attacking player and a forward is one in two seen as pretty good so my aim has been to maintain that which Touchwood I've managed to do so far so that's that's the goal going forward and I'd like, I'd like to think my record might stand for a little while, but of course, with the likes of Mr. Bale and Co. and any of the younger female players coming up, who knows? But I'm very proud of it, and, and it's something that I'll always look back on really with fond memories. So. Full time here at Clenetley. Wow. 4 it, 2. A little bit close at one point, yeah. 5 2. Is it five two? Yeah, yeah. While oh, you're reading a hot dog, it was another goal. <laughs> I missed it. I yeah, missed yeah. It you missed that dog. one. Oh, yeah, man. yeah. That's solid, solid journalism there. Yeah, well there done. We go, well there done. We go. Five two. Five two. The final score. Uh, right. Let's go and find some people to talk to about the game. Yes. Um, meantime, uh, you guys can watch blowing their barriers. And we start with our old friends at Barry Town United, who shared this peach of a goal by TJ Nagy in their two 0 win over Halford West at Jenner Park. All together now, Brazil is just like watching Brazil. Now, part of you may want to rib Matt the Jack for getting a little all fanboy over a pick of Gareth Bale in the Real Madrid dressing room, but come on, you can't tell us you're not secretly well, Chow. Feeling your love there, Matt the Jack. And another guy who's feeling the love at the moment is Leicester and Wales midfielder Andy King, who's in danger of following up last season's miracle of winning the Premier League with another of dispatching the Champions League at this rate. Sevilla dispatched and into the last eight, and the odds on another Welshman with a European Cup in his locker are diminishing day by day. Now, friend of the show, futsal hero and all-around top bloke Rico Zulkanen has been pushing his luck recently with plenty of envy-inducing posts after hot futzling his way to sign for IPC Palindo, Malaysia's most successful futsal club. Thankfully, it never rains but it pours over there, meaning for a day or two it was even wetter than it's been here. At least Rico's being philosophical about it though. Now we, probably like you, are big fans of Big Wayne Hennessy, and even more so after his sister shared this blast from the past. Bumaris school football team were in safe hands back in 1996. Oh, and look at that cheeky old grin, bless him. Finally, we opened with a peach of a goal, but how about this for a stunning goal line clearance from Wales women's star Hayley Ladd in the recent Cyprus Cup and shared by goalkeeping coach John Horton. Now we tried and tried to come up with some sort of snappy one-liner to finish off with, but sadly could only muster, go on lad. Sorry folks. Taxi. Well, congratulations. Oh, thank you. It was touch and go. Yep. At one point, because we were over on the far side and we were they were looking daggers at us because it came back to 2-2 and apparently we were jinxing it. Yeah. But as soon as we moved away, you improved. Oh, you are. It's down to you boys there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's all about us. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you still doing this? <laughs> no, seriously, right? Because right, I don't know. We're about the same age. My back's gone. The knees are shot. 
slightly fitter than you are. Yeah, but, <laughs> granted, <laughs> granted. But you're still dancing around there. Another hat trick today. Yeah, I'm, you know, I just love playing football. You know, I try, I try and keep myself fit through the week. You know, after playing football all your life, you know, it's it's something that you just want to do. You want to keep training, and you're a long time stopped. So while I can, while the legs still let me do it, I'll keep playing. Does it still feel the same when you hit the back of the net? Oh yeah, of course. You know, it doesn't matter. Even if you're playing on the field with your mates when you score a goal, a goal's a goal, and you know, I still get the same feeling when I score at this level as well. Because you've got obviously the uh, friend who sort of grabs a head dice, but you've got some really good young lads around him yeah. as well, haven't you? Like number eight, number nine. Yeah, well, well, that's been kind of beneficial for us. You know, trends has had all the headlines, all, all you know, everything in the papers has been about right, him. I'm going to stop right there because I've called them eight and nine and eleven over there. Should we actually name yeah. who they are? Because that, that would be good. We, 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 <laughs> Do you know what I love? I love it when we research. <laughs> <laughs> we proper research. Uh, I did buy a program. Yeah. <laughs> the, the eight is Jordan Davis. Um, you know, possibly one, one of the best midfielders in the league. Um, you know, I brought him down with me at the beginning of the season, and, and wherever I spoke, speak to fans, um, you know, committee men, they all talk about Jordan. You know, they, they all talk about Jordan Davis. And what I noticed as well is, like, when you were with the lads, you sort of you muck in. You're not one of these prima donnas, lead that sort of strolls around the place. You're kind of helping them and playing and. No, we enjoying it. Listen, yeah, we've got a we've got a great team spirit. We've got a great bunch of lads, and you know, um, I'd be disrespecting myself if I come in and acted like that. You know, I'm part of the team. We're all in this together, and you know, we're, it looks as though we're onto something good this season. We're we're still unbeaten. We've um, got a good young manager as well who's doing everything the right way, and you know, everyone's enjoying the football. The the nine Jordan follows. You know, he's got a pair of years. He's a boy, boy. He was here when he was in the Welsh Prem. He scored the goals in Europe at the time. And he you know, lost his way. We brought him back, and. You know, he's come on board, and he's you know what he does. You know, I don't think defenders can live with. And then James Loveridge, and he's he's come from the Swans. Um, I think it was two seasons ago. Um, he's slightly boy again. You know, and um, they all come on board. Um, you know, and, and they all they all come here because they want to be involved in, in what's going on in the club. You know, they, it's great to be part of something that you're building. You know, um, and to be part of that. Um, Is that important to have that local element? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. You know, yeah. the the size of the club. You know, at these levels, it should be it should be at a higher level. And I think the way that the club are trying to do stuff, they're doing everything the right way on and off the field and you know we're trying to climb up them leagues it looks as though you know we're, we're going to do that this year and then we'll move on to next year as well and try and push on but that's what the, the lads want to do you know they're a hungry bunch of lads they want to be successful and I think it's showing this season yeah yeah we, you know he's there thereabouts and I know he's until we we one there. game at a time why don't you just why don't you just go <laughs> yeah we've nailed it yeah. nah. totally nah. nailed it nah. well, egg on pr- the face <laughs> promotion, promotion first and then from promotion then championship, you know, we, we go for the league then. But, you know, I, 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 we, obviously we're going to win the league, but we, we secure that promotion, then we go for championship. Um, and hopefully, hopefully, you know, we, we get through the season undefeated, which you know, is, is almost impossible, you know, in any kind of football, because things happen in, in football. But, you know, we got, we got, we've got 10 league games left now, um, and, and that's, that's in the back of our minds as well. You know, we, we'd love to get through the end um, undefeated. So i tell you another man who likes to take it one game at a time. Who's that? Chris Coleman. He yes. likes to take you one uh, game at a time. Yes, he does. <laughs> Laboriously so. But, um, <laughs> from one gaffer to another gaffer. Should we find out who's selected for the Wales squad for the big game against Ireland? Yeah, why not? Fancy doing that? All right, here's Big Chris. This is Wales. everybody was getting excited when you burst on the scene at Liverpool six months ago maybe or a bit before that people start saying you know you need to take a look at Ben Woodburn we've been looking at Ben Woodburn since he was 13 he's been in our system for five years so we know all about it he's done well this season uh, and you know himself Tom Lawrence and Tom Bradshaw these are the boys you know they're knocking on the door and um, they deserve a chance so uh, no there is that on merit and um, you know, we're looking forward to having him on board with us. If Ben wanted to go and play for England, there's absolutely nothing we can do about it. Simple as that. Because none of, none of our players belong to us. We're not contracted to, to Wales, you know. The contract is to their clubs. So if that's what Ben wanted to do, and that's, you know, then there's nothing we can do. But 
because he burst on the scene with Liverpool, he got a, you know, he played, he was in the squad and then he scored on his debut around and everybody starts getting excited. It makes me laugh, you know, don't tell me about this kid I've been looking at for five years. He's been in our system. We know all about Ben, we know he's a good player. If he doesn't start and I feel a need that I need to make a change in the game and he needs to come on for tactical reasons, then that's what will happen. But it won't be because I'm worried about anybody else looking at Ben. We see Ben as a, an international player for Wales. He has been since he's a young boy. Uh, uh, and we expect him to be going forward. Um, we think he's got a good future with us. Uh, so, But no, there won't be any knee-jerk reaction to, to, to Captain Moore. I mean, people are going to look at it that way, but I look at it and say, right, who's, who's doing well? Who's on the front foot? And that's football, you know, we've not, we've not been together for four or five months. Two or three months ago, maybe this squad would have been different that I picked. I'd look at the players now, see who's on, on the front foot, who's looking good, who's ready. And that's why I picked the squad I have. Um, you always try to pick the stronger squad, obviously every manager does that. And uh, this, this one's no different, I think. The squad I picked are the players who I think are going to be most ready for, for this challenge. Well, that's a wrap from Llanelli, where they've won 5-2. Lee Trundle scored another hat-trick. All is well with the world. Equilibrium restored. Indeed, indeed. Well done, uh, that man. Yeah, great to see Lee here playing, bringing in the crowds. Real good ambassador for Welsh football. Frightening, frightening, to be perfectly honest, to see him still smashing them in at uh, 40 years old. Thank you very much to Llanelli Town for a fantastic afternoon. Thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. Yeah, and you've brought us up here for... Well, this is a metaphor. You know why I love a metaphor? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, we are flying high, which is exactly what Llanelli uh, Town are doing in uh, Welsh Football League 2. I did wonder why you brought us up here. Yes, it, it, was, <laughs> it wasn't just to look down on producer Dan from a distance. No, indeed. Hey, so uh, we are on the verge of the international window. Wales against Ireland is coming up so, so close. And we will see you very soon. Let us know how you're getting there. Tap us up on our social media channels. They're around here, but somewhere as well. But from here at Stevenheath Park, because Laura really needs a wee, it's Tadam.